reach. So with that said, I know we hear this dude talk about his juvenile record a lot. He has no juvenile record. His juvenile record consists of one charge. He only did 10 days. He only did 10 days for it. And uh, the only reason he ended up doing the 10 days is because he just would not go to community service. This dude ain't no type of all that. He was a felon and got his record expunged. That's false. Um, his record is sealed. That's false information. I got his juvenile court records. I got his juvenile court paperwork. And, uh, he just a liar. Just to sum it up, he just, he lied his way into some clout. And you saying, oh, I'm this and I'm that and I'm this. But then you get the mic and you move in the opposite of being this or that or this. You know, you you saying you come from the hood, but then you getting on the, on here saying Muwap did it. Uh, when you doing stuff like that, nah. And then you turn around and and you get exposed for doing that, and you know instead of damn, you know what I was wrong. You I don't care. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna do it again because this my channel and I can do what I want to do. He just giving us they aura. He using the aura of the real street people he been around to convince the internet that he a real street dude. So y'all listen to him when he talk about the streets. Not to say don't listen to him anymore, but just to say this is who you listening to. Mahone's mother arrived mid-interrogation and demanded to be present with her son. She advised the front desk staff to call her eldest son, Martinez, A. Ray. She stated that Mahone had left that evening with his older brother, Ray. Mahone initially stated that his brother, M. Ray, had not only initiated the plan, but that he had even driven the three suspects to the house. However, he later recanted his statement and said that they had taken an Uber. Detectives questioned Ray who stated that, while he knew Matthew Stecker professionally, he was home that evening and didn't leave, while no one has been able to provide an alibi for Ray. All three suspects have confessed to their involvement, and Ray was eliminated as a suspect. Additional notes. It should be also be noted that Ray is an undercover gang unit liaison for Cleveland PD District No. 2. Seems like there's a stark contrast between AK-47's public persona as a YouTube personality playing the role of a gangster and the reality of his actions and associations. His entertaining demeanor and portrayal of street life may attract viewers, but his involvement in real life situations such as allegedly leaving his brother behind to face murder charges and accusations against other individuals raise ethical and moral concerns. The discrepancy between his online persona and his actual behavior highlights the complexities of identity and authenticity in the digital age. Despite his legal troubles, AK-47 continued to gain popularity on social media, especially on YouTube, where he would post videos of himself talking about street life and gang culture. He became known for his bold and controversial statements, often bragging about his criminal activities and involvement in gang life. Today, King AK-47 is a shadow of his former self, a cautionary tale of the dangers of glorifying criminal behavior. His legacy serves as a reminder that fame and fortune gained through illegal means are fleeting and often come with severe consequences. AK-47's story is a reminder that no matter how high one may rise, they can always fall just as quickly. I know this is a lot to take in. AK is gonna say, the paperwork is fake, etc. This small documentary wasn't made to destroy him. 
It was made to show that you don't ever know who you are listening to. You can't be the voice of the streets, and your life is not what you say it is. KD and Mr. Podcast, if you check that forecast, got like a door dash on, yo. I'm gonna get straight to the point with y'all, man. Every time I turn around, it's niggas trying to throw my boy AK-47 under the damn bus for whatever. I mean, let's get it here, man. I'm gonna go ahead and play devil's advocate real quick. I don't believe him to play devil's advocate. Uh, okay, he, he snitched on someone. He's into paperwork snitching. So that post, he too big of he too big up on the clout now for that shit to even be deterred. Cause look at Trenches new thing. Shit happened to him. Nigga still watching him, still doing numbers. Now, the fact that he wasn't and nobody if they were snitching. He didn't put nobody in jail. He wasn't on the court stand telling nobody. What the hell does all this got to do with anything? I'm waiting. What does this bullshit got to do with anything? You got the one nigga talking about some. He got his juvenile records. Nigga, how? I had to make sure I wasn't retarded. I had to ask my wife, like, hey, hold up, babe. Can you, look, I, I got in trouble with other juvenile too. Can you just go down there and get my juvenile records? Oh, okay. I had to make sure. And I had to look it up on, I had to Google that shit too. Like, hey, can you just go and Google somebody's juvenile? Can you go, go retrieve somebody's juvenile records? You have to be some type of prosecutor, somebody that work in law enforcement. Because the shit is confidential and sealed. And it reminds me when they did the same thing to Charleston Watson to get his juvenile records. How? And these were two gangbangers slash felons. How the hell you gonna get somebody juvenile records, man? Now back to AK-47. Uh, what the f- is this? Y'all, y'all, do, he, that's what I'm saying. He cussed y'all out one time, one, one or two times, bro. Y'all mad. Get off your ass. I be in a pansy. Nigga, he and I was on the live when he rocked with me. I got on the live a couple times. Nigga, he ain't hung up on me. Oh, motherfucking well, nigga. It be alright. Y'all wanna d ride niggas so much, bro. Then when they don't wanna talk to you no more, you 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 feel you wanna start making up, sh- nigga. If 1090 Jake ain't came out with a video yet, then I know it ain't real, nigga. Y'all niggas is chasing with y'all corny ass. If 1090 Jake ain't got contenders, they gonna really do the research. He gonna get everything. 1090 Jake ain't made no video, then I know y'all cap. Y'all niggas cap. That's the that's my resource right there. If 1090 Jake ain't made the video or street or certified streaks. Them guys ain't make the video. Yeah, I know y'all. Uh, yeah, I know y'all full of cat. Y'all just chasing, trying to get y'all channel up. Look, I got a small channel, but I don't give a damn. Y'all niggas got thousands of views, thousands of subscribers. Y'all still ain't happy, bro. That's how you know you're never going to be happy. Y'all trying to get 100,000, 200,000. This shit ain't going to make you happy. Look how miserable my nigga AKB. He don't want to do this shit later no more because of stuff like this. And we still going to tune in and watch, bro. And you can call me. You can call me. You can call me what you want to call me. I don't really care. I'm keeping it real. All my niggas know we keep it real on this channel, bro. All the niggas doing this, whoop de whoop, giving us, entertaining us, bro. Y'all trying to sit here and do all this extra shit. Like, nigga, so? Like, nigga ain't, nigga what? Nigga ain't no pedophile. He ain't out here touching kids. He ain't out here doing shit to women. But something about his brother being caught up in a situation. Now he ain't valid. And this dude talking about some, that man, these guys is weird, bro. It's Makes me think they got picked on in school or something. Then one of the dudes, he so worried about who's a real street nigga. Who's a, that shit don't matter. Who gives a fuck? Don't know woman that's worth a damn give a damn about no real street nigga. A woman that's gonna sit her ass down and do, you know what I'm saying? Be a woman don't care about that shit. Your kids don't care about, my dad's a real street nigga. What? So you been a real street nigga gonna be able to buy your kids some new clothes and new shoes to school every year. Gonna be able to put food on their table just because you been a real street nigga. Cause you're a real street nigga. Not a real hard working man. Not a real hard working father. Not a real hard working husband or lover, but a real street nigga that's gonna pay the bills. I could be a real street nigga all day. Ain't got no money, ain't got no job. I'm just a real street nigga. I ain't told on nobody. I'm going to bust my gun, but I ain't got a dime in my pocket. I can't even put no food on the bed. My man, get the Yeah, yo, anyway. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know who I'm rocking with. Know how I'm coming, nigga. King AK-47. So I'm up. That's one of my niggas, man. Steady Nash, another one of my niggas. Man. Y'all know how I'm doing over here, nigga. I'm rocking with niggas I've been rocking with because some of y'all other niggas be... Nah, and nigga, even Chris uh, Barnes, nigga, had to come out and let it be known that like, AK ain't none of that. Crazy. 
And Chris Barnes don't even like AK. So this man that don't even allegedly like AK can come out here and clear the air. The rest of y'all is really just some clowns and buffoons and just chasing. And I'm out of here.